I am back with another video and today's topic we are talking all about how to have a fresh and happy vagina. Yes, you heard me right. We're going to dive deep into it so you ladies can know and understand what's going on with your pressures downstairs. So if any of that intrigues your little mind, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications because I don't want you to miss another episode. So let's jump right into it, shall we? Right, so the first thing what I want to say is you have to get reacquainted with yourself. Don't be afraid to get to know your girl downstairs. I promise you, if you get to know her, just like when you're in a relationship with the man, you got to get to know him before you start sharing everything and all that good stuff. So get to know your girl downstairs because the better you have a better relationship with your girl downstairs, you can then understand how your girl down there works because a lot of times it's taboo to talk about how to keep your vagina clean, how to keep your, your girl downstairs. We're all grown here. And if you're not grown and if you're a woman on this channel, you do have a vagina. So nothing taboo there. So get acquainted with your girl downstairs. That's going to help you a lot. Number two, you want to be familiar with your discharge. What color is it? How does it smell on a normal day? So you got to know what your discharge odor down there, what your girl down there smells like on a regular day. And then what your girl smells like when it's off, when your pH balance is off. You need to know that because you won't know if something's wrong if you don't know what your normal smell is. That's why I always say, you guys, and I'm jumping ahead of myself, make sure you are doing the smell the smell test. It will prompt you to know what's going on down there. And I'm going to give y'all a story. Y'all know I always have a story. So I went to visit my parents um, on last weekend. Had to go home, family emergency or what have you. But anyway, while I was there, you know your girl was trying to eat all her favorites, right? Like had my mom fix all my favorites. I even went to the little restaurant that we have in our town and I was getting fish plates, fish sandwich, chicken strip salad. I was trying to get all my goodies that I usually get. How about your girl been gassy ever since? Like my stomach has been, just been singing the blues, like on repeat. And I'm sitting at work and I'm like, my stomach is really singing. Like I got the bubble guts for real. That may be a little TMI too much, but I know my girl downstairs is not happy either because her smell is off. Like I know what my normal smell is and this smell ain't it. So I know it's because I've been eating a lot of crazy stuff, been drinking a few sodas that I normally don't drink. But you know, when you go home, you be saving that dog on appetite for all the goodies that you don't usually get when you, you know, at your place. So anyway, make sure you are familiar with your scent and your discharge because when something happens and it throws it off, you'll know where it happened, what happened. Like I just told you, I went home, was eating some, some all kind of stuff that I should probably shouldn't normally eat. But anyway, that's why you need to know what your normal discharge is. What color is it? What's the smell like? If it's on a too dark of a coat, you know something's off. That's why it's always important to get your regular checkups at your gynecologist. So you'll know when something's off. This is nothing to be ashamed of. We all have discharge. All of us have different kinds of discharge. Depending on where you are in your life, if you're sexually active, whatever the case may be, that's going to determine what your, you know, discharge looks like. Now, hear me when I say I'm no doctor or anything like that. So that's why I say always check with your doctor. But I'm giving you some tips that have helped me throughout the years. I've been on this earth for 45 years now, almost 46. So I can tell you a thing or two about your girl downstairs because I've experienced some, some craziness in my lifetime. But anyway, moving on to the next one. Number three. Please, and that, like I said, I always I always jump ahead of myself, but please, whatever you do, do the smell test. When you're in the shower and you're washing up, and here are two things that I love to use. And I've noticed lately, if I try to use dial down there, 
Dow is starting to irritate me down there. And I've been using Dow antibacterial soap down there for years. But now, as of the last six months or so, I can't use Dow down there because it irritates me. So I'm going to just stick with my two faves, which is the down there wash. It's very gentle. It doesn't irritate me or anything. And the Dove Sensitive. But hear me when I say I have to switch it out sometime. Because if I use the Dove Sensitive soap for too long, I start to get a little dry down there. So it's just, you got to know your body, ladies. And what works for me, it may not work for you. But what will help you is you start to experiment with these different tips and stuff to see what works for you. But these are some that have helped me. So when you are in the shower and you clean yourself, maybe two, three times, have a way you feel comfortable with, and you do the smell test and you still smelling a little funk, I don't want you to get out the shower. Come here. I want you to stay in the shower and I want you to try it again. It's okay if you do the smell test and you ain't quite get it right the first time. That's why you do it, the doggone smell test. So you can figure out, do I need to continue cleaning or is it good? Because you will know if you do that smell test and your fingers don't smell all that fresh, if you don't like the smell, guess what? If you, if you don't like the smell, your boo ain't going to like the smell either. I'd rather for it to be me figuring it out that it don't smell fresh than for it to be a boo. You see what I'm saying? So I wouldn't want him to be the one to say, oh, babe, you you smell down there. No, you don't want it to come from him. That's why you do the smell test so you can make sure you fresh yourself. See, when you confident and know that you smell fresh, you'll be okay with other activities and stuff. But if you do that smell test and it ain't smelling all that hot, I'm going to need you to hop your little cell phone back in the shower. Ain't nobody got to know what you're doing. Don't worry about all that. Ain't nobody got to know what you're doing. This is your business, honey. So that's it. Next tip is be mindful of what you eat. Y'all know I shared with y'all I was eating the wrong stuff. You could be eating the wrong, you could be eating all types of stuff. Y'all know a bunch of fried foods, you know, a bunch of garlic, onions, a lot of spicy foods. All that stuff will play out in your body odor. And it will make your girl smell down there real bad. It'll come out through your armpits. I'm telling you, if you ever want to know why you keep having certain smells, check up on what you're eating. And it's sad that we can't eat everything that we want because our bodies, you know, those saying you are what you eat. It's the truth. If you're eating a bunch of junk food and fast food all the time, because I know I love my Jersey Mike's. But I can't eat that every day. I love I love my fish fillet at McDonald's or my little hamburger with no cheese. I love it, but I can't eat that stuff every day because I promise you it'll come out in my sweat. My my underarms will be like foul musty. And down there will have a scent out of this world when you eating a bunch of that. And then another thing, drinking a bunch of sodas. Drinking a lot of wine, and y'all know I love my wine, but I don't have it. I don't have it too often because it takes me a long time to drink the full bottle. So I, you know, I drink it every now and again. But you just got to do my do do things in moderation because I'm telling you, your body odor will your body odor will tell off on you real good. Your secret will be out there before you even get where you go. And another way you could tell if your smell is off. When you sit down and use the bathroom, is your urine real, real dark and it have a foul odor to it? Because usually if you're eating kind of clean, and I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. If you're eating kind of clean and you drinking a whole lot of water and then adding a lot of lemon in it, it flushes you out. So your smell, your urine wouldn't really have a smell. It'll be just blah, if that's a word. But you'll know when you're not drinking enough water because your lips will start to get crusty and crust. When If you ever notice, if you're not drinking a lot of water, your lips get real, real dry. I know for me, if I'm not drinking a lot of water, my lips get real tra um, real cracky and, and real dry, and I hate it. So when you go to the bathroom and you sit down, you know your head is closer to your little girl down there. It's closest to you. And if you smelling something off, nine times out of 10, it's you. 
because you you closest to yourself down there. So when you get up, look, check at your urine. Your urine will tell you a lot of stuff about your body odor. If it's really dark and yellow, you're not drinking enough water. Because if you're drinking enough water and you eating kind of clean, like healthy, I'm not, not saying you can't eat some of your favorites every now and again, but every day you can't have that junk food and fried and spicy stuff every day because I promise you, your body odor is going to be rank. So when you look and you smell yourself, when you wipe yourself, that's why I say smell test, smell yourself. Don't be a bit. And then now too, ladies, it's getting up to the summer months. And I just did the nail, like all off. Cause it's like the more hair down there in the summer months, I promise you, you sweat a lot. And I do not play about that. I got all that hair off, let it fell off in the shower. Then I did a little scrub down there on my skin, not inside, but on my skin because I'm getting ready for these summer months. So stay tuned for a summer hygiene shower routine because your girl ain't playing. And I want my sunshines to be confident in these summer streets. And then the next one is drink as much water as you can. This is like my third glass today. Warm lemon water and a little liquid chlorophyll. And I know, you know, a lot of people say, well, I don't, it doesn't work for me. But lemon is a deep, it has that, what is it called? I can't give it words out. But it helps to purify and detox your body because that lemon has that acidity in it. So when you use in the bathroom, you just flushing all that stuff out. That's why I say it's good to drink it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. And then two, I I had my my blueberries or my rat my berry smoothie this morning as well. Cause like I said, your girl got to recoup from over the weekend because. I ain't lying. My stomach is really singing the blues. I'm for real. And my girl down there, she all off. But good thing I'm close to the shower because if I, you know, I can jump in and out when I get ready. You know, long gone them days when I'm at home with mom and she'd be like, you, you don't be running my water bill up. But I, I can run this up because it's mine. So I'm paying this. So if I feel like I need to get back in there, I'm going to do that because I got to, I think what I'm really going to have to do is do my seven day smoothie green smoothie detox y'all let me know in the comment if y'all but y'all let me know in the comments if y'all want to do the seven day smoothie uh cleanse with me to clean my gut out to get me back on track because your girl ain't all that ain't ain't all that happy with with what's going on you know because I, I know i was eating all kind of wrong food but good thing about it my dad did send me back uh, he had mama to cook my favorite, which is some fried corn on top of the stove. So I do got me a bowl of that. I think I'm going to eat that for dinner and just eat my little apples and stuff because my pH is all off, y'all. It's, it's crazy. And then the next one is, um, um, like I said, eat clean for the next seven days. I think what I'm going to do is do my seven-day cleanse detox smoothie and then um, I'm going to document it. So y'all let me know if y'all want to do it with me because I, I need I need to get back on point, y'all. Because when I went down there, I showed out. I ain't going to lie. I was eating everything. I ain't going to lie. I ain't have a filter. I was eating everything because I know I can't get some of my favorites when I came back home. So, yeah, eat clean for the next seven days and monitor and see how your smell down there um, changes and drink as much water. Try these tips out you guys for the next seven days and come back to this video and let me know how it helps you. Cause I'm telling you it's little bitty things that we take for granted and you be wondering why you still have an odor. It could be a numerous of things you guys. And then how to keep her fresh and, and happy down there is like I said, once a month do a three or seven day detox when you just eat clean and detox your body for seven days, eat as healthy, eat as clean as you can, eat as many vegetables and fruits as you can and see if that helps your overall smell down there and under your arms, just your overall health. But we're talking about your vagina down there. Just make sure, see if that helps you because I'm telling you, you'd be amazed at how irritated she gets down there. Your girl gets 
funky. She gets the attitude. She'll be wanting to act right. And she lets you know it because when she's irritated, you irritate it too. So I hope these tips helped you guys. I hope that it blesses you. And leave me a comment below and let me know what other topics you want me to do videos on because y'all know I love sharing with my sunshines. And I know that all of us are in this on this journey together, but I love hearing from you guys. So leave me a comment and let me know what other video topics you want me to do. I love you guys. Make sure you comment and engage. That lets YouTube know that you love these types of videos. Give this video a thumbs up if any of these tips helps you. I love you guys and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah.